Hi, I'm James Ward. I want to show you how to deploy applications on Google Cloud with Cloud Run and show you how to set up continuous delivery to deploy those applications. We're going to start from scratch. So I'm going to go to GitHub and create a new repository. I'm going to use PHP because everyone knows PHP and it's super simple. And we'll create this new repo. And then I'm going to add a new file to this repo. It's going to be called index.php and it's going to be super simple. It's just going to say hello world and then we'll commit that file. So now let's deploy this repo up on the cloud. To do that, I'm going to use something called Cloud Run Button. And instead of creating the actual button, I'm just going to go to the URL that's going to use the Cloud Run Button to deploy this thing. So uh, that's deploy.cloud.run. And then I give it the Git repo that I want to use. So I'll go to that. And what that's going to do is send me to Cloud Shell. And Cloud Shell is going to say, hey, do you want to open the Hello PHP uh, GitHub repo using Cloud Run Button? And I trust all those things, so I'm going to say confirm. Cloud Shell is just a cloud instance, a, a VM in the cloud, and gives us a interactive console to that instance. So what it's going to do is it's going to get that parameter for the repo to clone, and it's going to clone that repo. And then I need to specify the project to use. I'm going to use JW Demo, which is just my default uh, project in my account. And then it's going to enable the Cloud Run APIs. It's going to say, which region do you want to use? I'll pick US Central 1. And then it's going to build this application from source code. Obviously, in this case, our build is not very sophisticated and our source code is not very sophisticated. Uh, we're using build packs to go from source to a container image that then we can run on Cloud Run. Build packs support all sorts of different things, uh, PHP, Python, Ruby, uh, Java, Go, Node, uh, all the, the standard stuff. So what the build pack did is it detected, hey, this looks like a PHP application. Yet let's use the PHP build pack to compile this into an application, into a container from the source code. Uh, so that's what it's doing right now. In this case, that build is not very sophisticated. It's really just pulling in what it needs to run PHP. So I think it's like Nginx um, and the, the PHP module or something like that. So that's going to build that container image and then store it on the Google Container Registry. That's that gcr.io. And then there's our project name and then the name of the image. So that's all built into an image. So then we use Docker push to push that image up to the container registry. And then we can deploy it on the cloud. So we're doing uh, gcloud run deploy, give it the name of our app on, on uh, cloud run, give it our project, our platform, we're using the fully managed one, and then our region, the image to deploy, the amount of memory, and then we're saying allow unauthenticated requests. So it's now deploying that service on Cloud Run, and so that will then run that container image uh, with the PHP application. So there we go. We get our endpoint with our application up and running with HTTPS. So let's go check it out. So that'll now start up uh, that container, start up Nginx, and then run our PHP application, which says, hello world. Great, so in a couple minutes we're up and running, but now we want to set up continuous delivery so that we can, uh, so that we can, whenever changes happen in this repository, we can rebuild the application, potentially rerun our tests, and then redeploy on Cloud Run. The first step to do that is to come back to our repo, and we're going to create a new file in our repo that's going to tell Cloud Build what to do whenever there are changes. So I'm going to say, let's create a file named cloudbuild.yaml, and let's paste in some YAML that I had already created. So in this YAML, we're saying, let's run the build packs to build the application and store that container image up on the GCR, the Google Container Registry, and then we're going to say gcloud run deploy just like you saw before to deploy that application on the newest version of that application up on Cloud Run. So let's go commit that file. And now that our Cloud Build YAML is there, we'll go over to the Google Cloud Console and we'll go to Cloud Build and we need to set up Cloud Build to tell it how to actually uh, do these builds or when to do these builds. So we're going to set up a new build trigger and I'm going to connect a repository. I'm going to say, let's use uh, GitHub as our repository. And then I need to authorize the, uh, the application, the OAuth application for Cloud Build. So it's saying, hey, are you sure you want to allow this thing uh, to, to talk to your GitHub? And I do. And so we'll hit continue. 
Uh, that is just connecting my identity between GitHub and Google Cloud Platform. But then I also need to install the GitHub application for Cloud Build into my uh, into my my org on GitHub. So we'll install that. We could specify any repos that we want to allow there. And then I need to sp uh, select my repo to actually do the trigger for. So I'm going to select that hello PHP and say, let's connect that repo. And then I'm going to set up a push trigger. I could say only do this build when I push to master or whenever there's a pull request or whatever it may be. But let's create that push trigger. And so this push trigger will run on, on any push to any branch. And I could manually run that trigger if I want. I could disable it. But now the trigger is there. Now let's go back to our index.php and let's make a change here. So obviously in the real world, we would, uh, we would make these changes locally, test them locally, uh, push to another branch, uh, send a, a pull request, go through that whole flow. But I'm going to take the shortcut here and just commit directly to master. And by doing that, making that change on master, now cloud build, if we go to our build history, we'll see that there's now a new build running that is running on that hello PHP repo. And so now it's going through those two steps to, that I defined in my cloud build yaml to build the application with build packs and then do the new deployment to cloud run so we can watch the output as it's moving through you'll see it's doing the build packs uh, it's pulled the container images for build packs and then it's going to run the build packs which will uh, figure out hey this is a, a php application let's run the php build and uh, and then um, we will get our container image created and and then once that container image is created and stored on GCR, then we will uh, then we will um, be able to deploy that container image. Okay, so there we go. It's now running the pack build. In this output, we actually see the output from the build packs, whereas when we used Cloud Run Button, uh, we hid the output. But you'll see, there we go. It's installing uh, Apache, Nginx, and PHP, and then assembling the layers for the Docker container. And then uh, it will push those, those container images up to GCR. And so there we go. Our first step of the build is complete. Now the second step of the build is going to be to do that run deploy. And so now it's you'll see that it's deploying the container to cloud run. And we can scroll over and see to the project uh, JW demo, the service hello PHP. It's creating a new revision, routing the traffic to the new revision. We could specify not to route that traffic yet and, uh, and do it manually if we want. Okay, so now our our uh, build is complete, our deploy is done, and if we go back to our application and reload it, uh, then it will start up that container, and then we will see the changes that we made, hello foo. If we go back to our uh, cloud console and go down to cloud run, we can go find that hello PHP application in here and go check out the revisions. Uh, there it is. And I may have more than two revisions. I should just have two, but I think I did this before. So there we go. We see a bunch of revisions. But there is the one that I did five minutes ago with cloud run button. And then there's the one that was automated with cloud build there. Uh, so you can see all the revisions, logs, that sort of thing. So there we go. That was just a couple minutes to go from a, a, a brand new application to deployed on Cloud Run and with continuous delivery. Thanks for watching.